Let's bring out another member of the sheriff's team, the director of community relations for the Henry County Sheriff's Office. Kind of a surprise to the cast. He also happens to be an NBA superstar. It's Shaquille O'Neal. Well, Shaq, we're so excited to see you and to talk to you about the work that you're doing and why criminal justice and community relations is so important to you. Why are you so passionate about this? Because I think it's, you know, important that we bring law enforcement and community back together. It hurts me when people say all cops, all cops, all cops, all cops are not bad. You know, we realize that if you look at a fruit basket, it's probably going to be one or two pieces of fruit that's bad, but that doesn't make the whole thing bad. And, you know, you know sometimes we have to be real with ourselves. So, you know, it's my job that especially in Henry County with uh, Sheriff Skendrick, that we do community things, you know, we go talk to people, you know, we let them know that we're human and we want to hear what they have to say. That's why I'm happy about this program. I'm a fan of the show. Do you think this show is an authentic look at the criminal justice system from the inside out? I uh, think it is, you know, it, it uh, sheds light on, you know, what it's like to be incarcerated, you know, what goes on. And some places are in bad shape, some places are in worse shape. But what I know about those three wonderful gentlemen there is they listen. Let's talk a little bit about changes, because we've been touching on them really for this entire show. So for the participants, I'm curious how it feels to see that a lot of your feedback was actually taken into account you know, pretty much in real time, the 23 and one. Just the little things that counted for us as inmates made a very big difference. As human beings, really. It seemed and like as a human lot beings. of those issues yeah. were like humanity type yeah. issues. Didn't surprise me any because when I met Sheriff, I knew right away he wholeheartedly in this for the right reason. All three of you. With all three of these gentlemen up here, I do respect you, but your policies I do not. I'm talking about the nutritional value, the haircuts, the dignity for a man, the mental aspect in separating those guys from general population, the fact that you should let a man exercise. And when we had our, our exit interview, all I heard from you was excuses. I can't let you call out my guy and say he's making excuses. Sheriff is in charge. He hears everything. But just because you say do something doesn't mean he's going to do it. He hears you and he understands, but this is his jail. This man doesn't make excuses. So he's not gonna sit up there and, and, you know, respond to you, but I am. And what the people need to realize and understand, this is not the Hyatt, this is not the Hilton, but we will treat you like human beings, you know, we will treat you right, but you don't get certain luxuries, you know? And remember, all the problems that happened in the Henry County Jail, these guys inherited it. We've rewritten all of the policies, every last one of them because all the policies that we inherited was old, they were antiquated, they were not what I'd embraced, but they were in place when I got there. So we hadn't rewrite them. That was challenging to do, but we did it. We've also been working hard to renovate and remediate the jail itself. It was in extremely challenging conditions when we got here. So we're bringing the jail back up to our standards. We started going from each housing unit to clean refurbish that entire facility. So we're in the process. I had over 100 people to leave when we started implementing standards. Some of those left when this stuff right here happened. But those standards are going to happen nonetheless. And that takes time to do that. I know the sheriff, he will not stop and not sleep until it's fixed. And his staff, his staff is unbelievable. You're looking on his left, you're looking at Larry Bird. And on his right, you're <laughs> looking at Kobe Bryant. These guys are professional. They're well known in the industry. And, you know, in order to win a championship, you have to have a great team. And I'm happy to be part of this team. No pressure, gentlemen. Larry, Kobe. Uh, you know, Shaq, you mentioned that you're a fan of the show. I'm curious if there's anything that you would like to say to the folks from season seven. I'd just like to say thank you. You know, I saw some of you, you know, left your family. And, you know, some of you got flashbacks of, you know, how it felt when you were at your lowest point. And, I'm glad that you persevered and got through it. We appreciate you guys very much, and we definitely appreciate the feedback. Well, Shaq, it's nice <clears throat> to have you. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks, Shaq. Thank you. Big fella. <laughs> All right. I don't feel like I'm in jail. I feel like I'm in an insane asylum. The groundbreaking experiment returns for the first time ever with seven former inmates.